guys, it's Carol. How are ya? And Molly. <laughs> uh, I'm going to do a little haul for you today. One of my subs asked me to show how to wrap a Christmas package. I'm not an expert of that. I like to wrap, but, you know, I don't know anything special. But I'll do, that's another video for me. I got this for one package. And I got this for the other package. And this is an empty toilet paper holder. If you slit it down the length of one side, that fits perfectly on uh, a roll of paper. Then you can tape it shut to hold your paper together, you know, after you've cut some off and it's going everywhere. So, tip for the day. Okay. Uh, I wanted to order some red lipstick. And I don't go anywhere. I went to, tar to Target. I went to Dollar Tree for that, but Otherwise, I just don't go in stores. Um, I have to get Casey to take me or somebody. and It's just easier to order stuff for me <clears throat> since I don't drive. Well, I wanted some red lipstick to go with my glasses and my red top that I am going to wash even if I wear it every day. Obviously, I'm not wearing it every day. This is my New Mexico shirt. <laughs> um, anyway, I wanted some red lipstick. So I looked on Amazon and I found some, oh poo, I put it in my purse, Casey. Could you get it out of my little, just bring me that my pink bag okay. that's on the inside. I went to Amazon. I don't have Prime, but Casey does. Anyway, <clears throat> I looked at lipsticks and it has this little thing you can press on that says, see how it looks on you? Those things work. Because, I mean, orange is my least favorite color. I do not like orange. But I was trying on the red lipsticks, and it didn't look horrible. And so I probably licked it all off now. Uh, but I tried on an orange lipstick just to see if, if it still looked like the others. It was horrible. <laughs> and I tried on a black, a dark raisin. <laughs> so if you want to order a lipstick from Amazon, try those things where you... You push on, try it on. Anyway, this is the red that I have on. It is called... I was going to smell it. Well, I can't read the tiny print. Toby. And this one... Firefighting. Firefighting. And this one is Garnet. 98 cents. <laughs> these were 98 cents. I guess nobody liked these colors. Here's the lid for that one. What do you think? Oh, I think it's pretty. Uh, anyway, they were 98 cents, but they were also in a special. If you ordered four items from a whole list mm -hmm. of things, so you got 20% off or something. So I got two lipsticks and then this was on the list it had all all kinds of baby items and i mean it wasn't just makeup it was all kinds of items i got this uh which is a bolita mexican style instant hot cocoa hot chocolate mix so we'll do a taste test not right now it's hot it was I think the high was 72 or 74. Oh, I don't know. It's 70 degrees right now. It, we evening. just we just went to the library and it's it was hot. <laughs> and then, you know, Taylor and my granddaughter likes to play dominoes. I love to play dominoes. I just know how to play chicken foot. That's all I know how to do. But the t only table I have is a card table. And it's not steady at all. I mean, the top of it is wobbly. And our dominoes won't stand up. They just fall down all over the place. So I got these. This is four wooden domino racks. It's got three rows, so you can hold a lot of dominoes. I don't know if it's glary. And this was $5.98. So Merry Christmas to me. Because <laughs> uh, we play dominoes a lot. Okay, I guess that's all that I'm going to show you there. And then... At the library, Casey picked up this book for us. 
I would, I wish I could figure out how to make it where you can read the words, but anyway, Skipping Christmas, written by John Grisham. John Grisham is a good author. Uh, oh, pardon me. The movie Christmas with the Cranks is based on this story. It's not exactly like it, but it's based on it. Anyway, so I think what I'll do, new subs, I've never done reading a book before a couple of weeks ago. I just do a video on whatever I can come up with each day, like showing you what I got or something, or cooking something or whatever. Um, but t two weeks ago, I started reading a Christmas book on Thursdays. I th What I think I'll do is in the title, I'll put Thursday's book and then the title underneath it. So if you have um, sub to me and you don't want to hear me read a book, it, when my video pops up, you'll see Thursday's book and you can watch it or you can't, whichever you want to do. And I think, because I've got so many books I want to read, and those of you who leave me comments about them seem to really enjoy them, I think I'll read this one on Sunday. So I'll have a Thursday book and a Sunday book. How would that be? Okay. Um, I, I don't have anything else to say to you. Um, she got her phone working. Did you tell him your phone was oh, That phone... <laughs> I was told to completely remove everything I've added and go back to factory reset where it's just like it came from the factory. You know, there's, and I didn't keep anything. I didn't have it transfer my phone numbers, my contacts, pictures, anything. I didn't let it transfer anything because I wanted it to just be back to factory reset. So thank goodness I wrote my phone numbers down before I did that because since I've had a cell phone, I don't know anybody's phone number. I barely know mine. Um, but, I, you know, before I had a cell phone, I could rattle off a bunch of people's phone numbers. But I guess that would be brain exercise for me to start memorizing phone numbers again. But anyway, so I wrote down all the phone numbers and I wrote down all the apps that I have added that I use. Like the bank app that was gone and Amazon was gone and... I don't, the third one, I don't remember what it was. Anyway, I wrote down those on a piece of paper. So after it reset itself back to factory, I went and added the things that I wanted to on there. So it's a good thing I wrote down the phone numbers. I would not have remembered anybody's. But anyway, um, I don't know that it's not doing those crazy things anymore because I just, did the factory reset before I took a nap and then I woke up from a nap and we went to the library. Um, I'd had time to add in my contacts, but um, I hadn't really been awake long enough for it to mess up. <laughs> so hopefully it's fixed because I sure don't want to buy a new phone. I This one's about a year old. I probably got it Black Friday. I don't remember. Yeah, probably. Um, and I really, really don't want to have to get a new phone number. I thought about that. I thought if they've somehow hacked into my phone number, maybe I should just get a totally new phone number. But I don't want to do that. Uh, but I might have to. Anyway. Anyway, as far as I know, it's okay. It caused me a lot of stress. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm going to go... The kids will be over here to spend the night in a little bit, and uh, I the, my kitchen is a mess. Um, I <laughs> Molly's groaning for some. Molly's groaning at us. I guess she wants me to be quiet. <laughs> my kitchen is a mess. I didn't do anything in the kitchen yesterday, but we ate and dirtied stuff up, and I just left it, <laughs> which makes me have guilt. My mother. God rest her soul. <laughs> she always said, don't leave a mess in the kitchen. Don't leave any dirty dishes in the sink. Oh, she would die if she saw my sink sometimes. And she had really, really bad asthma. And she would have these horrible attacks and have to go to the hospital and stuff. And 
she was always worried that that would happen, the ambulance would have to come, and she would have dirty dishes in her sink. <laughs> when she passed away, I, that was so ingrained in my mind. <laughs> when she passed away, my sister had my ex-husband come tell me. Why she did just call me, I don't know. We weren't close then, like we are now. Now we text back and forth all the time, all day. But anyway, so I called my sister, and the first thing I could think of to ask my sister was, did she have dirty dishes in the sink? <laughs> what did she, she did she not. Say? <laughs> <laughs> she didn't have dirty dishes in the sink. <laughs> you know, don't wear underwear with holes in it in case you have to go to the hospital. Don't have dirty dishes in your sink in case the ambulance people come. Because who knows, they may go inspect your sink. I don't know. <laughs> All right, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye. This is vlog, Vlogmas. What's the date? Five? Five? Have I done five in a row? I think this is the fifth. Hey! I don't know if you did five in a row, but it's the fifth. I, yeah, I think I have done one every day in December, so I'm on a roll. Okay. Mm -hmm. Leave me a comment. Maybe a thumbs up. Let me know what you're doing. Bye.